Finally made it. All right, you're in Exton. Let's get this party started. Mr. Rieger, hey. thanks for coming out east. Where is everybody? Um, we heard you were coming. Yeah. And they said I should greet you. It's great. I've drawn straws, so you had to stick around. Kinda. But you know, I got the long one. Oh yeah. So I was the... just being nice to greet me. So right. That's why it's empty. One team. Let's just go do the announcements. Happy Wednesday, Achievement House. It's Mr. Rieger joining you guys from the Exton Center in the East. I'm Mr. Flick, a math teacher here, and I get to welcome our buddy Mr. Rieger East into the, this side of the Achievement House world. And let's start the announcements with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Since we're talking about great teachers right here, and I'm with my brother from another mother in the East, let's talk about another fantastic teacher in our teacher spotlight as we highlight Miss Emily Buzzard as yes. she took the polar plunge this last weekend at the Queen Mahoning uh, out west. Now, what the polar plunge is, is she jumped into the water, sub-zero temperatures, middle of winter, in order to raise money for the Special Olympics. Now, I don't think you can get more admirable than that if that were me. I would still be trying to make myself warm. It'd be terrible. Just be awful. So, thank you, Miss. You couldn't raise any money because you'd have to pay me to do it. Yeah, and so. that's that's probably what happened for me. So she is definitely balling with that one. So congratulations on that. Thank you very much for raising the money for Special Olympics. If you'd like more information on it, check out the main page where there's a link that highlights the activity. All right, students, you are halfway home. Monday was the first round of parent-teacher conferences. Not out of the water yet. Not friends. out of the water yet. There no, is sir. still Thursday afternoon. So uh, make sure that your parents talk to your teachers. Because uh, kidding aside, it's a good thing for them to hear from your teachers what's been going well, what could be going better, mm -hmm. and how you're going to have success over the second half of the school year here at Achievement House. Absolutely. Don't forget, too, if you're finally waking up from your Christmas slumber, which is just sad, MAPS testing makeups are still going on. So if you happen to maybe forget about it for the last, I don't know, like 25 years or however long they've been going on, it feels like, they can, uh, you can take those tests as soon as possible in your MAPS testing makeup sessions, which is Friday, February 15th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now, all excuses aside, we know that we hound you guys about these things and you feel like, ah, oh, more testing. But I tell you what, these are very important. These are going to highlight some of the skills and credentials you have for your math tests. And Mr. Flick here, being a math teacher, can tell you it's really important, guys. And we're only saying, asking you to do these things because they really mean a lot to you guys in your education. So please make sure that you log in and take those tests on Friday if you haven't done it already. And let's be honest, at least we can be able to stop hounding you about it as soon as you get it done. Right, so, once it's done, it's done. Yeah. And I have students all the time ask me, so how did I do, did I, you, you can't fail this test. No. This test is just about where you are mm -hmm. um, in math or reading, where your skills are. If we don't know that, you know, we can do a good job, yep. but if we do know exactly where you are with your math skills, with your reading skills, we can do such a better job for you um, as, again, during the second half of the school year. So yeah. please help us. Uh, get that information and it'll make it a better rest of the year for everybody. Absolutely. We are really excited to, to um, announce that the Pierce College, they're going to be opening, uh, having an open house for us and all the high school students Saturday, February 23rd, beginning at 10.30 a.m. If you have need specifics on that event, you can check out more information on the main page. This is going to be a great, inf great information session for all of you out there that are interested in uh, post-secondary post school 
after you graduate this year, go ahead and check it out. There's a lot going to be a lot of great information on programs to study and what you'll be able to do there. Uh, in, in like manner, uh, keep an eye out on Tuesday morning the 19th. We're going to have a chance for some grades, the higher grades, 11th and 12th grades, to join in on something with Montgomery County Community College nice. uh, so that you can get hear from them, not us. Uh, they're going to join us and go over some information about the benefits of an education there. So that's good. Um, now, if you ever say to yourself, nobody ever listens to me, <laughs> which happens a lot at the Rieger house. Um, Fair enough. Mrs. Rieger, Lucy. Sorry. You know, bronze medal is still a medal. Yeah. It's still important. But here, you can always get a gold medal with your student council. Okay? They want to help advocate for you, stand up for you, get your voice heard around the school. So please go to uh, their part of the announcements on the Moodle page and complete their survey and let them get the information from you mm -hmm. about what you want to see more of happening here at Achievement House. Yep. It's very, very important that you get your voice out there so that you, know, you can make your school the best opportunity for you. Speaking of most wonderful time of the year, which you thought is already passed at Christmas, right. you are incorrect, my friends. It is actually PSSA <laughs> slash Keystone time. That is the greatest time of the year. And best news about it, it is right around the corner. I mean, yes. what better news? And we are the first to break that news for you, so hopefully... When you're done crying, you can check out the announcement on the main page and see when the testing dates uh, are and the important information on how you can successfully take that exam as well as the Keystone exam. Now, some of you may be saying, what the heck's a Keystone? We live in the Keystone State, and they are a state-mandated test along with the PSSAs this year. If you're not sure if you are to take it, please make sure that you check out that announcement on the main page. Yes, please, because the state spent a lot of money coming up with that name. Yeah. What should we call our state exam? I don't know. Hmm, huh. They thought long and hard, paid experts, mm -hmm. uh, to come up with the Keystone exam. So yeah. in April, 7th and 8th graders, you have your PSSAs. Then in May, Keystone exams. Uh, and again, it's, it's not like last year where it was 11th grade, depending on what, uh, because they're based on subjects. So maybe some 9th, 10th graders. Uh, so look, don't ignore those announcements about the Keystone. So, because you might have, you might be called on to take them. Absolutely. Don't forget too that there are frequently asked questions on the main page. So if you're experiencing any tech issues and you think, ah, well, I think this was covered, but I'm not sure, we covered it for you in the frequently asked questions. So make sure you check that out, and hopefully you can get that tech issue solved without having to put in a ticket or call the help desk. Right, and remember our uh, fabulous nurse is looking for your measurements, Boom. right? Measure just like yep. we measure with the maps on mm -hmm. your growth. Yep. We need to know how tall you've become. Physically. Some of you have had some spurts. Yep. So we need that information. There's all how to do it uh, on the main page, um, but it's a state mandated uh, information update that we have to give them. Yep. So uh, kind of like the maps, you can do it voluntarily. <laughs> yeah. Or we have to go to the incessant phone call yeah. route to yeah. get the information from We're it. not the bad guy. We're just the messenger. So right. So please, just right. make it easy on all of us. That's right. So And again, what? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, make sure that you're checking us out on Facebook and Twitter. If you haven't followed us and liked us, make sure you get on that. Pretty sweet information on there, too. And other messages, we want to once again congratulate the Riegerts on their upcoming child. <laughs> what? what? Child. Child. Bambino. Bundle of joy. News to me. The stork is flying. Whew. I know that was not. I guess, well, hear it from him first. Going to be a dad. Just kidding. No. Thank you very much. No, we really appreciate all the wonderful, kind things that you guys have had to say over the past couple of days. We really appreciate all your thoughts and prayers. We'll definitely keep you posted um, about, you know, whether it's going to be a girl or boy. We'll have special announcements and stuff like that. But... We're happy to announce the, you know, the upcoming member of the Achievement House family as we expand and really appreciate uh, you guys thinking about us. So, thanks a lot. All right, everybody. It was great having our buddy here in the East with us. So, we're going to wrap it up for the day. Go have a great Wednesday, and we'll see you soon. Take care.